Thank you so much for stopping to check out my video. My name's Katrina and this is my channel Create Something Pretty. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, my videos are all about sewing and creating items to make a handmade wardrobe. Uh, this will also occasionally include um, crochet and a little bit of knitting, maybe a bit of crafty stuff here and there, um, but it's mostly sewing. I hope this is something you'll be interested in and you'll stick around. Uh, today I have for you some patterns and uh, some patterns and some fabric matching because I have started thinking about autumn. Some very noisy birds out there. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, so yeah, I have picked out some of the patterns out of my wardrobe to go with my thoughts to go with autumn. Um, we're changing seasons and now I can start making some of these beautiful tops that I haven't been able to make prior because it was too hot. And I'm so excited about making these. Um, there's a good chance I've already told you about some of them um, or you've heard me purchase them. So um, yeah, so let's see what I've picked out and what fabrics I've chosen to go with those. I've also tried to choose fabric from my stash because as you would probably know if you've been watching me before, I am trying to reduce the amount of fabric in my stash. I'm very, very good at buying fabric and not so good at using it up. <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Um, today I'm wearing um, a fiber, mo fiber mood Dana top. Um, this, I made this probably about two years ago now. It's in a rayon crepe from Spotlight. It's very light, floaty, sort of a top. Um, yeah, it's really nice to wear. So I'm gonna get on with it. Um, it's, we're in my sewing room at the moment as well. Sorry about that, I didn't mention that earlier. Um, it's been a very dull day and I think the lighting in this room is probably better than anywhere else really. So that's why we're in here. So on with it. Um, I wanted to mention as well what I'm working on as well. Um, I am trying to sneak in a few makes, uh, a couple of dresses for the end of summer. Um, I have, I'm currently working on, I'm going to try and get into this, like my kids are home, it's after school hours, I haven't had a whole lot of success with my videos, so I'm trying to squeeze this in before dinner. Um, so I'm currently working on the Patton Emporium um, Field of Dreams dress. Um, I like the one she's wearing. I think this is the version I'm making, only I think mine is a straight, uh, the straight neckline. I think this is a dipped one, it's kind of a bit hard to tell. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm planning on making at the moment. I ha am hoping to use up this one. I'm not sure if um, I actually have enough of this, but this is one that I purchased a little while ago. So I've got to try and use up my fabric faster than what I buy it. <laughs> so this is a beautiful uh, print, uh, indigenous print, a rayon, uh, rayon river dreaming from Spotlight. I love the colors in this. Um, it's sort of purples and reds and greens and I love it. I'm just hoping I have enough for it. Um, this is one I am actually working on this right now so if there's enough of this hopefully I'll have a dress to show you. Um, so that's for the Patton Emporium Field of Dream dress. Uh, another nice summery make so hopefully I can sneak that in before summer starts cooling down on us. Um, yeah, and the autumn starts taking hold. I'm so not ready for autumn, but I'm so looking forward to making these things. Now, I wanted to show you, I actually have some blouses. I have some dress patterns to show you as well. And I have shirt dress and a shirt as well. I have to really get into this because I really did a time. This I haven't had a whole lot of success with this video. So it's taking a bit longer than I expected. Um, excuse the rustling. This is the NYX dress from Closet Core. I've had this in my stash since maybe late last year. And um, I think the one thing that's held me back is I use up quite a bit of fabric to make the long sleeve version. And I was looking for the right fabric. I kind of wanted to trial it a bit first before I spent any sort of money on fabric for this. So um, I found this rayon. And if this works out, I'll, I'll not make another one because I quite like this. This is a rayon from Spotlight. I have quite a few meters of this. Um, it's just a white, is it a black background? Black background with white flowers. Um, kind of very busy sort of a print. But I think it's all over enough that it will quite blend quite well. So I'm planning on making, I would 
it's a the long sleeve version of the NYX dress by Closet Core. Um, there are, there's this, I could always do it with the short sleeves if there isn't enough. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this one a go. This is one of those patterns that I bought spur of the moment because I loved it that much. So I'm really looking forward to giving that one a go. Uh, the next one I have, I want to make. Now I haven't got a um, fabric planned for this one at all. But I wanted to make this because it's a shirt dress and I've never made one before. So this is something to challenge my skills. So this is the Pattern Emporium, where does it say? The Take the Chance shirt dress. So I have seen um, the versions of Kate from Pattern Emporium. Um, when she does releases her pattern, she also does a video to go out with them as well. And she shows all the views and lots of hacks and lots of ideas. I love her videos. Um, she made a, a dress like this. I think it had three tiers. I wouldn't mind making something like that. Maybe a short sleeve as well because I don't think I would, for me personally, I wouldn't wear a dress um, with a long sleeve unless it was very floaty. Um, I'm more of a summer girl with dresses. So um, I would. I don't really wear them in the winter at all. It's just too cold for me. Um, so yeah, I'd wear it with this with a short sleeve. Um, I don't think I would do a long sleeve with this one. But yeah, I wanted to add in the extra tier as well. So that's my plans for the Take a Chance shirt dress. I'm reading that. Take the Chance shirt dress <laughs> from Pattern Emporium. So that's my shirt dress. Now I have quite a few blouses that I'm so excited to make. Um, I purchased these late, I think most of these were late last year. Now this first one, actually, oh, this is, I don't have a very good picture for this one. So I'll put a picture up. This is the Olivia, Olivia Blouse by Alter Jupe. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> um, this is absolutely stunning blouse and I'm pretty sure it has, or oh, what do you call that? Um, I literally just looked it up. <laughs> what is it called? Where it's like, a, it looks like it has a collar but it doesn't have the actual little collar bit. Oh my goodness, I just looked it up. I can't remember. I'll put the name of it underneath. I can't remember it again. Oh my goodness, why? It has this gorgeous sort of um, short little sleeve, a little bit of a puff in it. It's like a not big puff, it's just a little bit of gathering. Um, I'll put in some pictures and line drawings as well so you can see that. Um, yes, I'm very excited about making okay, this Okay, the one. next one I have. Whoop, oh, it's just fallen on the floor. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to put some pictures up. I have the fabric though. <laughs> this is the Nepheline blouse by Vivian Shisheo Chen. Um, this I'm very excited about. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that uh, I'm a sucker for pin tucks. And this has beautiful pin tucks on the sleeves. Um, and it has a, a lower neck version with a ruffle, like a little subtle ruffle all the way around. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm very excited about getting this one made. Um, I have this fabric that I purchased at Spotlight. Um, it's like a cotton, it's like a, I think it's called a vegetable dye. I'll put the name on the screen. I'm not really 100% on the name, but I love this fabric. It is just so beautiful. Um, uh, this, I'm pretty sure I got this on clearance. I don't know if they'll still have it, but the store I shop at is, uh, all the stores send their XX stock there. So you may still find it if you really look for it. Um, yeah, I just love this. So I think that'll hold the little pin tucks really well. It's, it's not heavy at all. So I think this will make a great shirt. I'm looking forward to making that one. So the next one that I want to make is the Poppy Blouse by Pattern Scout. Um, I should have grabbed these out. I haven't. Uh, okay, so this is, I'm gonna put pictures up for all of these. Um, stay. Okay, um, this is a poppy blouse. Uh, a beautiful little stand-up collar, which has kind of like a little ruffle. And I love these big sleeves and I love this little peplum. Actually, this looks quite nice too, but I think I would probably go for this one. Um, I, I'll put some photos off of, I think her name's Casey uh, from Pattern Scout, of her wearing them. Um, 
it's, I love this pattern so much. It's, oh, I wish I hadn't made it earlier. It's just so pretty. Um, I have this fabric. Actually, I'll pop that one down for a second. Um, I have this fabric that I have picked out for it. This is a very light rayon from Super Cheap Fabrics. It has like a little um, uh, olive green and little daisies and bits of blue on a very dark navy background. That's quite sheer and lightweight. And I think that would look fantastic. I am so excited about this. I've had this earmarked for this um, for that blouse ever since I purchased it. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to making that one. Um, I also had a Plan B fabric, which is this one, which could also be used for the Olivia, um, depending on what I decide when I actually make it up. This is a beautiful rayon as well from Spotlight. I love this fabric. I actually think this would be really nice in the Olivia. I think I might actually do this one. Love it. That would totally go. Oh, I've got to not cover up the microphone. I'm still getting used to having one. Yeah, I think that would be beautiful. Trying to catch it on the cords. Okay, and I also have the Anna Allen Anthea blouse. Now, I can't be the last person. Every time I say I'm the last person to make something, there's someone else who hasn't done it. So, <laughs> oh, better late than never. <laughs> this is a uh, Anthea blouse from Anna Allen. Um, I am interested in doing the hack. I actually bought this to do the hack. Is that weird? Do other people do that? Um, I have a fabric in mind for this and I purchased it while I was on holidays seeing my family. Um, it's a green, I think it's a poplin. Um, I cannot find it. I have looked and I have looked. I don't know what's happened to it. I need to have a look. If I can find it, I'll put it in. Otherwise, my plan B is this one. This is actually the fabric I made my latest make. I made the Darling Rangers dress. If you've seen my Instagram, you will have seen this fabric. But I wasn't so sure of this fabric when I first purchased it. But the more I worked with it, the more I thought this would make a great Anthea blouse. Because it kind of, it's got blues and I'll just pop something down. I'm going to get caught up with that cord otherwise. Um, it's got blues and greens and pinks all through it on a black background. It's very busy. And I can just see this in an Anthea blouse. I think there might be enough left. There's a fair bit here still. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing with that one. Now I have one more. Where can I put this where it won't fall down? Um, my last one, I am rifling through these because it is nearly dinner time and I really need to get going. Um, this is uh, the Bond shirt by Itch to Stitch. I have been wanting to make a shirt, not necessarily this one, but I've been wanting to make a shirt all through last year and I just never came up with the item I was going to make. So I really want to try and prioritise it this um, autumn, winter sort of time. Because um, I haven't done a collar yet. I still have not done a proper collar. This one is just your um, mandarin collar. I remembered it. <laughs> this is, I think it's got a mandarin collar. Um, but I think this looks really nice. I like the how slim this looks on her. Um, it's not an oversized shirt. And I think that's for my figure that would suit me better. Um, there's also different views. You, under my hand here you can see there's different sleeve options. Um, there's a, a three quarter gathered sleeve as well which I really like um, I would probably do this version um, but I have possibly this fabric I'm not 100% whether I would use this fabric but something like this um, I even thought maybe just something plain as well might be nice so this is like a poly from I think it's a poly cotton from spotlight that I got I think it was this year so I gotta stop buying fabric that's terrible so th that's everything. I think that's everything. That was quick. <laughs> that's everything that I have planned so far. I'm quite excited about getting going. Um, are you guys starting your uh, autumn sewing? Uh, do you plan ahead? <laughs> I always, I get to the end of the season, like I get close to it. I'm like, 
is there any point keeping going with summer stuff or should I maybe stop a month beforehand and get going? Oh, I don't know. I just don't want to stop with uh, summer stuff because I feel like we get a bit, I don't know, our summer sounds a bit messed up with Christmas in the way and then with, um, with the weather this year, I feel like we got a bit ripped off this year. So anyway, I'm going to get into my autumn sewing now. I'm quite excited about that. So let me know, are you starting your autumn sewing already? What do you have planned? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will speak to you next time. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye for now.